What is going on guys? Fatal Reaper today bringing you guys a video that you much wanted or a lot of you in the comments. This is the HP Pavilion game test of Black Ops 6. Um, we do have the FPS counter in the top left corner as you can see GTX 1650 for the display adapter for the uh, graphics card showing you that we are on the HP Pavilion. And before we continue guys do make sure you like and subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of Black Ops 6 content coming uh, for the future. I just did one recently that's pretty getting good steam. It was about how to get camo, uh, your diamond camo on Black Ops 6. I just got diamond camo on ARs and I'm just about to get them on SMGs. So I am definitely keeping up the grind. But that being said, let's get into the actual test of the HP Pavilion here. So I do have low settings. I do have normal settings on the uh, texture resolution. Everything else is going to be on low. I do recommend turning on V-Sync as well. Um, there, like, like I said, there are just a few things that I would definitely recommend and keep. Uh, like I said, texture resolution you can put on normal. Everything else like shadows, bullet impacts, detail, quality, all, all this kind of stuff. I'd kind of put on low, and I actually have low settings on my main PC anyways. And I would recommend just turning on V-Sync. Now, the highest FPS that I got during game was about 70, around 80 FPS, I think I got. That that was off camera, because obviously, you know, when you're recording, you do, it kind of renders that FPS just a little bit lower. I did get 80 in some situations uh, when not recording, but for the most part, it was around the 60 or 70 range. But this is gameplay of the multiplayer, and, and of, um, I do recommend also, if, just a quick note, if you are playing on a controller like I do, do make sure you plug your controller in. Don't play with the wireless adapter. It is very laggy. That being said, though, like I said, the HP Pavilion, after this entire time, I don't really do a lot of videos more on it, just because um, I don't really use it anymore. I use my main PC, and I rarely, you know, have to travel or anything like that, so I don't really use that laptop for anything. I do occasionally use it, like I am doing this video right now. So I do occasionally do some videos, and like I said, you guys wanted to see it. And like I said, this, this the laptop still has, even after all this time, after all these years, because, you know, a lot of people will upgrade their PC, sell their old PCs, get new ones, uh, you know, this, I mean, I've had this laptop for almost, what, six years now? Five, six years, maybe longer. Um, I can't quite remember what exactly when I bought it. I know it's in the five-year mark, and it's still able to play all these games with, like, no issues. I'm playing Black Ops 6 right here, and this is really, honestly, besides the monitor, because I do play on a bigger monitor, there's really not much of a difference. Like, I didn't really get that much lag at all, and I, that could have been easily fixed with the Ethernet cord. I was getting lag a little bit because of probably servers. Um, but as far as actual gameplay and lag, no. There was, like, virtually none. It was very smooth, and I didn't have any issues. Now, um, like I said, you do have to keep those settings below your, uh, your VRAM usage. So do make sure, like, you're using, um, you know, low settings for most things, normal settings, like I said, for texture resolution. You can even turn that down low if you want. And if you have everything on low, you will get a little bit more FPS. But that being said, like I said, here's the multiplayer test of it. Like As you can see, with no issues, I played a game of multiplayer with no problems. I do play some zombies here too, because I mean, you can't you can't skip out on the zombies. And the zombies isn't technically online if you're playing solo, in a sense. So, I do jump out of here and do get on a zombies thing. So, if you can see here, we're about to jump here on the zombies and show you the gameplay on here. So, here we are in Liberty Falls on the zombies, and I was about to load in. And like I said, the zombies, really, I didn't have any issues with uh, the zombies as well. Uh, the multiplayer, I was more intrigued about and worried if it was going to play or not. Um, but the zombies, like I said, really didn't have any issues at all. Um, it took me a minute to load in, but after that, you know, gameplay was smooth. Didn't have any issues. Same thing. Graphics look pretty good. I would argue you probably could turn the graphics up just a little bit on zombies if you're playing solos. Um... If you're online, probably not. I would recommend not. Um, that being said, there was not really much of a difference besides zombies. Did seem to play smoother. Obviously, you know, when you're on multiplayer, you're online and a server with a bunch of people. So, as as I said before, and as I, I'll say it again, the HP Pavilion still has no problem playing all these games. Still have no issues. It's still, you know, and I do have 16 gigs of RAM in this build. I have to say that a lot. Um, if you're not sure on the actual build, check my description down below. I have all the... Uh, uh, everything listed on there. I do have 16 gigs of RAM again, not 8 gigs of RAM like it does come standard. That being said though guys, this is just another game on the list. The HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop had no issues playing, so I hope you guys enjoyed the test. Again, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have you ever heard of boundaries?